so good morning so myself dr k ramanan i am going to so i discuss the uh, subject for uh, green computing so in that green computing or uh, the uh, now we are going to discuss the unit 1 the fundamental concept of so green computing so before starting the subject we are going to discuss about the objective of this subject the first objective of this subject to learn the fundamentals of green computing and then to understand the issues related to the green compliance then the goal of green computing are uh, similar to green chemistry it is uh, reduce the use of cathodes materials maximize the energy efficiency during the product life time the recyclability of uh, reference products and factory so uh, waste this are the objective of uh, green computing then so why the green computing why you are studying this green computing so so everyone want the green computer here the mobile user demand maximum performance of performance and the battery life time the main purpose of this green computing are to reduce the uses of hazardous materials maximize the energy efficiency during the product life time and encourage proper recycling habits why there are seven reason so it is serve a lot of money that is a software development for in the industry we need the energy consumption for second it save our next generation the best way to save the environment save the planet and the protect our next generation next third one everything lies quickly the environmentally friendly and recyclable materials we need for this uh, uh, everywhere so next inspire employee so environmentally friendly product in our organization then attract and uh, retain the customer by saving thousands of ton of carbon every year the fair of energy lack in part of energy consumption in data center come mainly from two nodes server and cooling so therefore building energy efficient server that comes less energy also throw a less heat require less energy for cooling is an essential need then uh, reduce the uh, risk in the future the us predict so probably energy uh, demand to uh, grow by 50% by 2030 therefore energy prices will rise unexpectedly by reducing the amount of power consumption to run our business it will migrate a uh, risk then so what is green computing so green computing or sustainable computing is a practice of maximizing energy efficiency and minimizing the environmental impact in the way computer chip system and software are designed or used so green computing is a design manufacture use and disposal of computer chip other techno technology components and peripherals in a way that limit the harmful impact on the environment so including reducing carbon emission and the energy consumed by manufacturer data center and end user also called green information technology green it or sustainable it so how to achieve this green computing this is all the following list of way increase in the green computing and the energy efficiency in data center and other services for install building environment install overhead lighting by energy efficient server switches laptops desktop systems install energy efficient windows and doors install fan throughput in uh, equipment rack on off system use refillable printer cartridges establish power bed policies and explain to senior management the importance of green computing the now we are now discuss about the, the main fundamentals concept of the unit 1 so green computing Uh, the concept of this unit one. So this unit introduces the uh, notion of energy green computing with its motivation. And it also speak about the necessity of green computing 
IT impacting, sustainable environment. The unit mainly focus on changing the perspective of the industries, including green IT, as one of their business strategy policy. First two, unit two, green assets and modeling. So unit two, first we have discuss about the general concept of every unit. Okay. For second unit concept, the unit brief about the assets of green IT. Second, the transformation and the process from conventional IT to green IT at a various operational level are discussed elaborately in this unit. Next, green architecture design and development of models for implementing greenness. For unit 3, this unit the benefits of virtualization and its impact on green IT. The brief discussion on the utilizes communication and other amenities in an industry which tends to contribute to carbon emission and they explain here. So green data center and the green grid framework and best practices to achieve green AT are explained in this unit. For unit 4, this unit deals about the public perception of green AT, various conventions, standard protocol, etc. Green IT audit process is given a special mention. The later part of the unit is discuss the technology and the future roadmap to achieve Green IT. So unit 405, last unit, case study. This unit starts with environmentally responsible business strategy. Various case study and a detailed description about each scenario such as hospital, packaging industry and telecom industry is given in the unit. So start with the unit 1, the fundamental. So first of all, what is green computing? So green computing, so green identity is learning and preparation of manufacturing, designing, consuming and ordering of computers, server, storage devices and other peripheral devices, commentably and competently with a minimal or no impact on environment. In other words, Green IT is the branch of study that aim at using computer and its associated resources efficiently. The Green IT is composed of dimensions of environmental support, the economics of energy efficiency and the total cost of disposal and recycling of the same. So next we are going to discuss about it's a Green IT fundamentals, business IT and the environment. The main approaches of this green and green computing, the figure shows that the pathway to green IT. We are see, see the green IT concept and in around this we are start with uh, a green uh, design of IT system, green disposal of IT system, then green manufacturer of IT system and green uses of IT system. These four approaches to in that the main path to be taken. So green use using the computer and other related products is an efficient manner where the energy consumption is minimized. Next green disposal. Uh, reusing old computers, properly disposing and recycling other unwanted products. So green design. So designing energy efficiently and environmentally friendly computers and accessories. Next, green manufacturing. Manufacturing computer and other related equipment in a way that they have a minimal effect to the environment. Then how to apply green IT in an organization? When focusing on business of optimization, so few areas can be targeted, which energy demand can be reduced and growth can be increased with the help of IT. In that, reducing environmental waste, improving energy efficiency, green IT purchasing. These all are three categories. So first we're going to discuss about uh, reducing environmental wastage. Mm. By reducing office waste in the form electronic components, the old desktop or laptop in office could be used to replace parts needed for hardware repair or good in order to familiar with can use them so keep them out of landfill. The next second one, improving energy efficiency. This could be achieved in any IT sector 
by increasing energy consumption the company money is also saved to large extent the computer which are left hand on in any it sector for a year emits carbon which equal emission product by over 2000 for a day the use of standby mode or hibernate mode could also enhance energy consumption So green IT purchase by controlling purchase of new equipment by choosing LCD monitor which use less energy by choosing laptop or lab tablet or desktop which consumes more power by purchasing devices which goes to standby or hybrid mode and will not induce paperless system this all are under the green IT purchase. Thank <laughs> you.